Hey, good evening. Um, so today is Tuesday. Uh, it's almost six in the evening, and just came back from the office. Today was pretty heavy. I actually injured myself when I was doing my workout yesterday. That was my first time injuring myself during a workout. Because I guess it was too dry. My skin was very dry. And so it just happened. So today was actually um, pretty intense. I was actually considering like to ask a friend if he actually can talk to me right now because I think it's it started to coming up now the intensity the intensity the pressure and all and today has been pretty heavy i would say but so i guess it's just like coming out trying to come out and initially before this video recording um because uh there's a friend that has been like very willing will was very um willing to talk to me or uh, a good friend to talk when just hardships or just simply someone that i always talk to but but instead i choose to to record this and have this record because this is a development that i have to record and yep and so i'm here and today has been very intense uh since the afternoon at work especially this is of course this is about work and today has been pretty intense uh during the departmental meeting it was it might be a contributing input or feedback yes and usually because there were a very minor understanding there were the understanding between each others are not really good i would say so every stage has different stages have different understanding on certain things so we have not found that mutual understanding yet so it has been on previous months um after every departmental meeting i will be like joining my other colleges like not feeling dissatisfaction, disappointed, frustrated, all of that. But today, I only have heat on my ears. I listen to the feedback, so-called feedback. Yeah, I agree, it could be feedback. Um, I just feel the heat on my ears, but I do not feel it emotionally. So it's just like being triggered on the physical body. So, and then uh, after the meeting was ended, went for lunch and i think i was extremely calm that was very very good i was being mindful during the event itself and i managed to make myself calm throughout the throughout the event it was because one particular section that i came across this morning while waiting living for work i actually read this book and the section was about being mindful a new focus for recovery uh, this is dealing with hyper arousal hyper arousal is like um hmm, hmm, i need to highlight this part that i read this morning because it will be very useful when i need to come back interoception when you're being triggered interoception is very very crucial instead of taking some medication to control your hyper arousal or uh, i'm not of 
medicine background so i don't really got into this term currently i can feel my body heat is like increasing yep this too to deal with hyper or hypo arousal so there are two uh, we actually uh, befriending the emotional brand dealing with hyper arousal or hypo arousal so it's something related to handling stress when you are being uh, when you are being exposed to a stressful event uh, it's actually instead of letting the emotional to take over or the trauma to take over your body and your mind it's like being mindful at that particular event at that particular moment so it's just like just observe how your body is reacting and like what i was experiencing the during the meeting this afternoon when we were receiving a feedback a contributing but unfortunately not being delivered in a very good manner so it could be better always can be improved so the kind of feedbacks of course uh, some will be feeling because we are not on a common or we don't we have not come to a an understanding a mutual understanding yet so of course there will be some disagreement from both parties so my way of response was instead of being emotional again i was being i was aware that i could feel the heat accumulating on my ears so this being mindful uh, that was being mindful and one way of like um managing yourself instead of so managing instead of letting the emotions to take over it is being very self away when these events so called hyper or hypo arousal is happening so that happened this afternoon i managed to stay calm until the afternoon and <coughs> excuse me sorry it was because of the cock that i was consuming like two sips of it i just threw it away out no cock is not for me and um oh i managed to stay calm until the afternoon and i was also even managed to calm my other colleague chair down yes this is this 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 is and that pump 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 but this evening okay at the end of we were waiting for another colleague to finish his meeting regarding the direction of the company um so of course on on our way here i could not help to think what we because i'm really really interested with the industry that i'm working on now the job security is not a problem if the project is come to an ending because we'll be um we will, we will be joining a department or whatever it is but i have a passion for this industry and i agreed to come to this job before because i wanted to work in this industry so i wanted to remain in that so i think and i am still very very developing still learning myself and how to control all the emotions and etc but right now at this particular moment <coughs> this particular moment i just need to remind myself again to be present nevertheless what's the future of the company of course i can't run from feeling stress but it was actually trying to accumulate thing i think the emotion was trying to take over <sighs> what i can do is do my best for the project whatever the direction because it's very very chaotic right now because the pro the direction of the project is very directionless nobody is saying it has to be a or b there's no absolute answers but money is chasing cost is chasing and time is chasing a lot of very very critical things that should be has been decided but it has not been decided yet so it's not something for me to worry actually but of course because i'm i have plans as well so especially when we have plans and we can feel that those plans are being jeopardized or very very uh, all the plans are actually very the the future of those plans are very 
blurry you will feel anxious have a lot of fears and like worry like what will be the go what will be my future be because i have this plan but they are not going to following the directions that i want it to be happen so i am trying to get myself out of this worry because the future is not for us to see and i have the trust in the universe because instead of worrying about the future what i can do now is actually being present and make use of this critical moment to fully develop myself as best as best as i can improve myself and when the times come go for it i think not i think if it meant to happen it will happen opportunities are always there a lot of opportunities we are just so pure fearful that they are nothing for us but there are so much opportunities in day in every way and i just have to have faith i have faith that things are going to be okay things are moving accordingly yes i think yes everything is moving accordingly everything is moving accordingly to whatever it is meant to be yes and instead of worrying about the future about all these things that seem, they are very very uncertain i really only need to focus on making myself prepared when the opportunities come yep that's all thing i need to do and this evening while on work coming back what i was trying to say is that i think the emotions was trying to take over and trying to come like hey jc you gotta be worried about this and etc etc but i'm feeling good now staying present i met this tattoo to remind me that i have to stay present focus only on what present future is not for us to think not about thinking and focus on the focus what is within my control yes 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 that's another thing focus what is within my control because what's within my control that's the only thing that i really have to worry about because anything beyond my control i hands off i can't do anything and it's out of my control anywhere so what can i do about it right at least i have to worry about something that i have control about because my action can affect it so it's worth my control it worth my worry it worth my energy of like okay this is something i should do so what am i going to do about it i have to do something about it my phone is low back let me touch so it's basically like just wor- feel worry about something that is within your control because if you make an action and you can bring a chance so do that anyway yep so it's something at least worth your energy and i do feel better now i do feel better right now and I think uh, with the very uncertain things of course I need to change certain things of course the plans is like I need to put on hold certain things that I said I wanted to do at this particular moment so yep like for example like obtaining a license in motorcycle I was actually planning to do so and to get myself a motorcycle but I think uh, due to the direction i think what best for me to do now for the next few months is intensively focusing to improve myself in my technical skills i need to extremely take the chance and the opportunity that being give that i have within this current company and with all my very very good colleagues around me so i really have to take that opportunity like maximize it like really manifest all the greatness that i could receive the blessings i could receive from all the people around me at this particular moment make the best out of it and anything that comes from that after that 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 be it yep so yep really making i really need to focus on those things only within my control so just within my control anyway i can feel the heat is 
slightly reducing okay i will be going heading to the mallorca and no. so my dear self staying away during hypo arousal or hyper arousal is the way actually not to allowing the emotions to take control keyword here is to stay mindful to always have the self-awareness in whatever events you are having so that's the way not to that's the way to prevent the emotions to take control to not having the stress on your mind and the body and another way for me one of the one thing that i'm particularly want to focus on on learning on here now is actually to always stay conscious because from i just noticed this recently that when i feel stressed we don't even know when are we when we are feeling stressed we, it only came out after we were actually burnt out but it's a bit too late if you can't actually get out of that loop like for me it actually took months few months for me to come out of the loop so like july august september october it took me four months to come out of that loop of burn out and i'm actually asking myself how do i actually even know that i'm feeling stressed if i'm saying i'm stressed so how do i actually do something how do i actually what do i actually do what do i actually need to do to actually really really relieve or relieve as in release all this stress or how do i prevent it from building up because uh, all those things and so one of it is actually to it's not prevent um, building up so i think uh, to stop the accumulation of the stress it's important for us to stay away during that particular hypo arousal or hyper arousal event that's uh, that is one way for you to prevent your your physical body and your mind to accept to have all the stress but how do you actually um know or you are actually feeling stress i mean like especially those who has been you accumulated from before now i think i experienced lightly on how to actually prevent from being stressed not to take it very very hard reduce the impact to the mind and the body i managed to deep that slightly i think that's very very minor part of it and i'm still learning on how to make myself away all the time and so it's basically getting very very intro inspection getting back into yourself feeling yourself <sighs> deep something that i'm still working on okay all right peace out